Proving divisibility with mathematical induction. So let's look at an example. We want to prove by induction that 4 to the power of n minus 1 is always divisible by 3. So we want to prove with mathematical induction. Now, to prove that something's always divisible by a number, we can just show that 4n minus 1 must equal 3 times some integer. Because if that equals 3 times some integer, it would prove that it's divisible. Because if you imagine dividing both sides by 3, and this divided by 3 equaled an integer, it would show that it's actually divisible. So this is the statement we need to prove, where m is an integer. So we're going to go ahead and prove that it's true for the base case of n equals 1. So we're proving true for all values of n greater than or equal to 1. So when n equals 1, we have 4 to the power of 1 minus 1, and 4 to the power of 1 is just 4, and 4 minus 1 is 3, and 3 is clearly divisible by 3. And in this case, you'd have your m equaling 1. Now the next step is to prove, is to assume that it's true for n equals k. So we're going to have 4 to the k minus 1 equals 3 times some other integer, let's call it q. So where q is an integer. So I've just given it a different letter because it might be a different integer. Now, if we assume it's true for n equals k, we need to prove that it's true for n equals k plus 1. So that's going to give us 4 to the k plus 1 minus 1. And this time I'm not going to assign it equal to anything, we're just going to see See what we can do here. So we can rewrite 4 to the k plus 1 as 4 to the k times 4 to the 1 minus 4. And we're going to go back to our assumption of 4k minus 1 equals 3q. And we're going to make 4 to the k the subject. So we're just going to add 1 to both sides. So 4 to the k is going to be 3q plus 1. We're going to go ahead and sub that in. So if we sub that in, we get 3q plus 1, all times 4 minus 1. And let's go ahead and expand that. So we're going to get 4 times 3q is 12q. 1 times 4 is 4 minus 1. That's going to give us 12q plus 3. And now we can factorize out a 3, but we're going to get 4q plus 1. And now our statement of 4 to the power of k plus 1 minus 1 has turned into 3 times 4q plus 1. And if q is an integer, 4 times an integer gives us an integer, plus 1 also gives us an integer. So we could rewrite this as 3 times p, where p is an integer. And this, sec this successfully proves that 4 to the k plus 1 minus 3 is also divisible by 3, and hence the statement is true by mathematical induction.